Hi there, Jill Woods here from Crowd Connections and today I'd just like to show you uh, a bit of free software that you might want to use if you're scratching your head trying to figure out some colours. Whether you're designing a website or whether you're looking at designing your own logo, this really is a very, very helpful tool. So let's get stuck in. The first thing you need to notice is this is the American spelling of colour. So if you're searching for colourschemedesigner.com online, you need to miss out the U if you're normally using an English spelling. Um, the first thing you need to do is to come across here to colour space and click on the colour space tab. And what we need to do is switch from RGB colours into web colours. There are only 256 web safe colours, whereas RGB there's many, many more. So if you forget to do this, you may end up with a colour that you can't actually use on your website. So switch it across to web colours and we'll get started. Okay, so the way you use the, the website is over the right hand side, this really is just for your information. And on the left hand side is where we make all the magic happen. So if you want to use one primary colour with just a couple of tonal shades um, to run alongside it rather than some very contrasting colours, you need to use the mono option. And once you've clicked on the mono option, you'll see you've got this one button here that you can drag around the colour wheel in order to select your primary colour. And as you go around, it'll give you all sorts of tonal shades that will go with that, um, that primary colour that you've chosen. So if I say go to this nice purple, um, if I now hover over here, you can see 660099. That is the hexadecimal number for the web safe colour for this particular purple. If I go to the paler purple, that number changes and likewise. So this is how you find out what the colours are and therefore you can then use those numbers to help you with your um, web design or your logo design. If you want some more contrasting colours, come back to this menu at the top and click either complement, where you can circle this around and get colours that are the opposites on the colour circle here. Um, or you can go for a triad where you've got three different colours um, and again you can move the pale dots like that. The minute you move the dark dot, the whole lot moves together. Okay, so that's how that works. And, and you can do four or you can do three on the same half of the colour spectrum like that. Um, and that's pretty much it. So you can choose, decide how many colours you want, one, two, three or four, and then select the different options that you're going to go for. Once you've got to a point where you think you've found some colours that you quite like the look of, um, you can then go into adjust scheme and that will enable you to either make them more pastely, make them a bit darker, different shades and you can just roll this around until you get the kind of colours that you, you want to use. Um, and then if you want to just change the contrast slightly you can do that by moving this into the different zones on the contrast square. Okay, let's go back into the hues. Um, another great tool on here is of pos the potential to view these colours in a web page. Now, what, what it does do, it takes it doesn't just take the three main colours, it's going to take all of these other associated colours as well. So sometimes the view it shows you can be slightly off-putting, but it just gives you an idea. So if you click on light page, it's going to show you what those colours could potentially look like if you were to use them in combination on a website. And you've got a light version, or you've got a dark version. So it's just, it's just a nice little tool to be able to use. We'll close that. Um, another great tool on here is to be able to click on colorblind and you can see the different types of colorblind that people might suffer from. And you can just click on those and it will show you, just transform the colors in the box below into the different viewpoints from the people that will have these different um, colorblind conditions. or will click back to normal. So that's a really useful tool just so you can see what that looks like. Um, the other thing uh, that you can also do on here is to click on the random button which is very random and will give you all sorts of weird and wonderful combinations if you're feeling brave. Um, if at any point you want to undo you can just click the undo button and that will take you back to where you were um, or you can redo to go forward. So that's very simple and straightforward to use. The other really useful thing that you can do if you've already got a primary colour that you're using for your um, brand, if you go down here where it says RGB, if you click on that box and type in um, 
a color, the color that you're already using, click OK, it, that will put that color into the primary space here. If you do that, the only thing you must remember is when you're rotating these, these um, dots around on the color wheel, don't move the dark dot because that dark dot is anchoring your main color, your primary color that you've already identified. So that's only if you want to use your an existing color that you're using in a brand already. So only ever rotate the pale dots, don't rotate the dark any of the dark dots because that will change this primary color. And then what you've done, when you've finished and you think, right, I've got the palette that I'm looking for, if you go over to export and click on HTML, it gives you this fantastic sheet to download as a HTML file that gives you the colours, what they look like, what they look like with white and black text overlaying them, and what their different um, colour saturations look like going down the page here and different tonal shades which is a great little resource to print off and keep so you've got a permanent record of the colours that you've chosen to use in your brand. Um, that's about it, that's kind of how you use Colour Scheme Designer. Um, have a play around, you can have all sorts of fun with it um, and hopefully that will help you get creative and come up with all sorts of inventive um, brands for your business. If you've got any questions at all put them in the box below this video or get in touch with me on Twitter at Crowd Connection. Um, I'd love to hear from you and thank you very much for your time and hopefully you found this useful.